Marble. Jack, it's no time to get comfy. I got a strange one for you in there. Picked up four kids last night, all of them for different crimes, all across the whole city. But the strange thing is, when we put them in the cell together, they seem to know each other. Might be gang related. I'm gonna need you to figure out the big picture on this one. Hmm. Lollipop just finished. You got my coffee? It's already inside. You're the man, Bob. Strawberry lollipops. Always oh, love So, public disturbance. Hmm. You have any idea why we pulled you over here today, Martha? Yeah, for jaywalking, right? Jaywalking. Hmm. You see, Martha, you take a swim across the pond and you'd be bang on the money. But here in Blighty, that's not a crime. So how would you disturb the peace? Hey, I'm walking here! So, you gonna arrest me or what? Arrest you? If being crazy was a crime doll, we'd all be convicts. You're free to go. Take her. Wait, that's it? So, you're not gonna arrest me? Yeah. Wait, no, please, I can't go back! So... Care to explain? Look, this is all just a big... Misunderstanding, okay? He's back on! You had 13 vapes concealed in your jacket. And it was mistaken for a gun. That's a good one. You know, back in my day, when we fucked up our lungs, immensely. You're off the hook. The owner doesn't want to press charges anyway. What? Get him out. No, 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 please. You, you can't send me back. No, 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 no. Two more and I can leave this door. Send him in. It says here you started assaulting. They say every face tells a story. Well, this guy's was written by monkeys on typewriters. And they sure as shit didn't pump out Shakespeare. The bruising was so bad, I could see the whole rainbow. But I was betting there's no gold at the end. I may have set the template for rough mornings with this guy. After Jack, what's going on? Thinking, but you should try sometime. Why don't you leave? Are you sure? This yeah. guy's a criminal. No, He's fine, no, it's okay. Okay. Yeah. okay, so you picked a fight with the wrong guy, huh? The ball went there. The report says he was a tough motherfucker, huh? The hell he did you? Well, to be fair, at the time, I thought it was an old lady. You serious? You beat an old lady? Why? It's the motive, goddammit! Uh, there's no motive, I'm just crazy. You can't stop me. Alright, buddy. Good luck punching your way out of jail, you crook. Get him out of here. <sighs> BC, given the other guy is fine, with a good lawyer, you're probably just serving a few months in community service. Take him out of here. Guy. Wait, what about a bad lawyer? <sighs> The Things I Want by Jack Daniels. Another cigarette, a drink, sleep. Unlimited ammo and a license to kill. My wife back. But more than anything, I wanted to figure out what linked these kids so I could go home and get at least the first three. Every glance hit me like a punch to the gut. Murder. 
most foul. The photos looked like a Jackson Pollock painting with only one color. Red. Hello there. Who are they to you? Nobody. Well, and now they're just a body. I've seen blow-up dolls with more humanity than lowlifes like you. Why'd you do it, though? Well, it was that place, that godforsaken place. We had to get out there, you know. We have to. You would have no idea. No idea. Try me. Well, picture this. <laughs> Imagine a labyrinth. Evil lurking within its walls. Disease rife. Surfaces, every one of them containing a plague of its own. Rooms like enclosures for wild beasts in suffocating solitude. Dark corridors upon corridors upon corridors upon corridors upon corridors, never seeing the sun, all blending into one. A colourless existence. Grating sirens blaring, robbing us of blissful rest. Silverfish swarm like souls of the dam, fated to forever remain trapped within. And the mac and cheese, always so goddamn dry. He talked like he came from hell itself. And looking at the crime scene, I was inclined to agree, but dry mac and cheese? Silverfish? I felt an itching in the back of my mind in its darkest recesses. This man had been somewhere so foul, so craze inducing. It had broken him. And I had been there too. It takes me back to my early days. My darkest, loneliest days spent in student accommodation. You get it. You know why you have to get out of there. You have to taste some real food that's not just cardboard and made with tears and broken dreams. Have you tried cooking for yourself? No, we, we want three meals a day, not two. Regulation, no noise, clean toilets, a sleep schedule, responsive staff, and some more well-adjusted roommates. Put me in prison, man, I really need it. Well, you'll get your wish. Your co-conspirators weren't so lucky. Enjoy solitude. Get him out of here. Case closed. Just as you think you've got your trauma by the throat, another part comes back to bite you. In this job, in this city, around every corner there's another broken mirror. Waiting to reflect yourselves. In another life, would I have been driven to do the same? All I know for sure is I came out of it a stronger man. And now, I can make my own damn magic. <laughs>